Welcome to the Silver Spleen's Memories of Making Movies, Shockwave. Soon enough it was time to start filming, so on the first day I turned up dutifully at Meifu MTR station to take a taxi to the set in Kwai Chung. I'd been to the exact same place before because the government owns a piece of land inside the container terminal and they use it to make movies. I'd been there before, and you probably have seen it before. If you've watched Cold War II when they have that big operation against the bad guy's hideout, that's actually the same place. They needed a big bunch of space because, naturally, in order to make a movie about someone taking over the Cross Harbor Tunnel, you can't shut down the Cross Harbor Tunnel. It's one of the most heavily trafficked tunnels in the world, if not the most. So instead, what they did was to build a full-size replica of it. And I have to say, it was really impressive. How impressive is it? Even today, when I go through the tunnel, the actual real tunnel, when I'm on a bus or in someone's car, and I look around, it takes me right back to being on set. The level of detail was really impressive, and I spent a lot of my spare time just wandering around staring at it. But once I got over the initial impression, it was time to go to work. So I reported to the wardrobe area and got my clothes. Then I actually got to have makeup. That usually doesn't happen. Most of the time, foreign criminals aren't given that level of attention. I ran into my friend Jai. We had met shooting Mission Milano, because there's not a whole lot of white guys in Hong Kong cinema, and we see each other either at the auditions or on the set. Once we were dressed and had our makeup done, we walked over to the prop department and took possession of our guns. I chose an AK-47 with a folding stock as my own personal tribute to Yip Kai Foon, the king of robbery. That's that old Simon Yam movie, and it's also the character that Richie Wren played in Trevisa. That's why I did it. Stay tuned for more videos about my memories of making Shockwave.